YouTube, what is going on? And today, we're gonna be going shopping for like some die cast like cars. So, hey man. So, yeah, I remember the uh, ZL1 Camaro I did a review on. So, what I'm gonna uh, see is I'm going to, first, we're gonna go to Great Lakes Hobby and see what type of models they have because last time I went they had the Auto Arts. Um, they had an Auto Arts GT350R. And, uh, yeah, I'm going back to see if I can uh, trade for that. If not, I'll just keep, I'll just, uh, I'll just keep the, uh, the Camaro. And, uh, since I'm back working now, my first night back working was like last night. It wasn't too bad, you know. I made a decent amount of money. And uh, tips driving. You know, not a fan of the area, but, you know, since it's, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. And it's something to keep me back on my feet. I just say, you know, what I worked at until, uh, I get a call from like Jimmy John's. Actually, we're gonna go go. Uh, we're going to uh, check on Jimmy John's today after we leave this uh, this hobby shop out here in um, in uh, Utica. No, I mean, uh, no, it's Sterling Heights. It's Sterling Heights. Okay, once we leave this uh, area in like uh, Sterling Heights, uh, this hobby shop. I'm sorry. Then we'll uh, we'll shoot over to. Uh, Jimmy John's over there in Birmingham since that's where our past signers um, hobby shop is and if I don't find anything there I'll probably just end up trading uh, I don't know depending on what he has I might end up trading the uh, Camaro for uh, one of the uh, 118 118 uh, Acme uh, model cars yeah the details on those are like really really nice and uh, they're just old school, you know, big block build muscle cars, you know, drag cars, you know, so anything that like basically like keep the, uh, the car content going, you know, I don't mind it, so. But the weather, but as far as like the weather and stuff like that, it feels, uh, it feels a little okay. Like my parents are just like, um, oh, it's going to be 50 and, uh, you know, 61 week, and they're just like, you know, this is some, uh, some crazy weather. I said, nah, well, you got to remember something. We're still in fall. Winter, winter has not, uh, it hasn't begun yet, so, you know, we're still going to see, like, a lot of, like, spring, like, spring, uh, or, you know, we're still going to see, like, a lot of spring, uh, summer light temperatures a little bit until we, uh, get directly into uh in the winter and uh once we get in the winter then that's when um you know that's when we should start seeing the uh the temperatures and stuff like that we're supposed to see but other than that i think we're just going to continue to see a lot of uh you know a lot of uh damn how, how do i want to say i think other than that we're just going to continue to see a lot of uh spring summer temperature until then so yeah um great lakes hobby is not really somewhere it's not really like my number one like top um it's not my number one hobby store like if they have something then of course you know i'll buy but i did most of my shopping at past signers in uh birmingham so just because you know they, they for the most part have a uh, better selection of you know model cars and stuff like that and um uh well i say die cast die cast they have a better selection of like die cast cars and uh and great lakes hobby has a better selection of like model cars to like put together like they just have a whole a whole shelf of like uh, model cars and stuff like that you can like uh, put together so 
like they even got motorcycles and stuff like that too planes and tanks and all that stuff so yeah man it's uh it's definitely pretty uh, amazing so as you guys see they do have some uh oh there it is there it is right there i actually want to see if i can like uh do like a trade off for this they used to have like a corvette over here too but um i guess they sold that this is the one I, that uh past timers have and then See. Yes, Pagani, your rival, they want like 289 for it. It's really, really nice. It's a, it's a one of a kind model. I mean, they want that for like 19 here. Or 119. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you do. I think, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to talk to my friend about like trading for that. Uh, Oh wow, 118 CT5. Oh, it's locked. Yeah, man, you got a lot of uh, nice models in here. And you got the 18. Got the 18 over there. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, they got some in the rave. They got a lot of. Oh wow, then they got a Centenario. And this Hummer they have had forever. I've been thinking about getting it, but. Um, I think I would just rather have like one of the lights here. Yeah. Oh wow, uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to them about this Corvette here and see what they want for this. And see if they'd be willing to do like a trade off. They're really funny up here. Funny acting up here, but. You know, about uh, when it comes to like certain like vehicles. Oh wow, look at that. Another auto art. So yeah, they've got a. They got a pretty good, decent selection of auto arts in here. Wow. Okay. Got a Viper up here. Oh, another auto art. Yeah, man. See, this is this is that place, man. If you want some exclusive stuff, this is a place to go. It definitely is. I'm, I'm very, very glad. Very, very happy that I did bring my uh my Camaro with me. But yeah, one second. Let me let me ask them what they want. All right. So I did ask him. Uh, and he said that he can do like a, uh, he could do a trade for this one, but I would have to throw in my 20 bucks. So, what I think I'm just going to do is I'm just going to end up being a Mustang. Um, you know, just because, man, like, and, and they, they did recently have a Camaro. It was a, uh, blue one. This is also nice. But see, I already currently have one of those, so, you know. And yeah, he's got Viper there, auto art here, very, very rare. Like I said, again, I did show y'all that, but we're still gonna go by past signers anyway, man, just because, you know, that, that, that's my shop and you know, that's my guy. I like to go by there and just, you know, see the thing. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go out to my car, go get the Camaro, bring it in to him and tell him, hey man, I want to trade for the Mustang. Cause that Mustang is in, it's, it's in damn good condition. And uh, this vet here, you know, see, it has been out of the box. So let's see, like you can just kind of tell like it, it, it has been out of the box a little bit. And then uh, if you like, kind of like she right there a little bit, like yeah, it's got a little stuff. Uh, it's missing one of the things right, uh, right there. 
and uh, and over here too. So yeah, man, I'm I'm very particular when it comes to buying like these really expensive models. I want it to be in the best condition as possible, and that Mustang just happens to be that one. So yeah, man. Then over here they got the uh, they got the Chiron. That is a diecast as well. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's a Virago. And then here they got a uh, Diablo. They got all types of old school stuff here, man. All types. And yeah, man, that that uh, the CC5. That's uh. That's crazy. So, yeah, like I said, I'm very glad that I came that I came here and uh, brought the uh, Camaro with me because, yeah, man, I definitely found some. Uh, definitely caught me a steal. So, and the reason he told me like he would want me to throw like twenty bucks for that Camaro or not for the Camaro for the uh, for the Corvette because, like he said, he can get, he can get rid of that quicker than you know he can sell the Camaro. So, you know. It makes a lot of sense. It does. So yeah. I'm gonna go do that. And I'm gonna get right back to y'all. Hey, so I finally did end up getting it. So you see man, I got a steal. And he was willing to trade, so Yeah man, that's uh I walked out of there with a smile on my face, and you know, the guy was like, he was like, you own a Mustang in real life? I'm like, nah, not currently, but you know, we're working on that. You know, one day, one day, man. So we are here right now at Pat Signers. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is this shop right here. I don't know if you ever you guys have come here, but you know, this guy, this is another one. He just always has a bunch of exclusive stuff. So, hey man, let's go check it out. Yeah, look at all the exclusive stuff he has. Steve, how you doing? Doing well. How are you? Oh, I am doing fantastic. Um, a while ago. So yeah, he's got some GT Spirit, some oh, resin. This is the BMW think M2 or M3, I think. One of them. And then this is a new M3 competition right here. This resin. I think that's also GT Spirit. Yeah, he got like some hot rides and stuff up here. Old school Ferrari. Yeah, he's got Maestro. This is like one of the uh, beginner brands. So like anybody who's like looking to get into like collecting, you got Barago, Maestro, and then if you're like looking to get advanced, you're getting to like Ac, uh, like you know like Ac Acme, GT Spirit. Uh, here's a couple Acmes right here. I think these are all Acme at the bottom. Ain't got no rev. Mini champs. Another, uh. You know, another, uh, this is Aldor. He's, uh, he gets a lot of collectors that sell some cars as well as, like, that, that last store, like Great Lakes Hobby. As well, you know. Any of these hobby stores, they're gonna, um, you know, sell you. Or you're gonna be able to, like, sell them, like, you know, like, cars and stuff like that. Or, or even do trades, you know. I've even done a, a trade with him here before, too. Again, as you see, he has, like, a Auto Art Huracan. It's just not the Evo, but it's just a regular Huracan. And that's, uh... That came from the same exact person that sold him this. So he... Um, so right now, like... 
If y'all know anybody that's like trying to buy like auto art or get into like collecting, uh, you know, hit up my guy Steve. Get hit up my guy uh, Steve. Uh, you you can even uh, access his uh, his store number. Just type up Pastimers in Birmingham and it'll bring it up for you. <laughs> now, had I like not got a uh, had I not got that Shelby, I would have got like something over here. Like I would have got like one of these. Uh, like I would have probably got like this cool to or this drag pack here. Honestly, you know what? I never even knew that Dodge already had a drag pack, so they just they just remastered it in uh, modern challenger so yeah he's got two cutlasses down here two gto's a camaro actually he's got quite a bit of camaros down here what's he got man when i tell you like those hood pants are like really really annoying to get back on once you get them off there they're a headache. They're a real true headache to get back on and on. Um, or to get off and on. Easy to get off, but a pain to get back on. And then... It's got some Chevelles. And all that type of stuff there. This 65 Chevelle is pretty, uh... That's beautiful. Yeah, man. So he's got he's got a section like full of like high rides, trucks. He's got a Formula One here. That's by Virago. Virago makes a lot of a lot of Ferrari products or merch, you know. And then he's got some more exclusive stuff down here at the bottom. Like he's got a couple BBRs. BBR uh, cars are normally like insanely expensive. Most of their cars are like uh, resin, but they have some Ferraris, that, uh, a couple of, like different color like La Ferraris that have like opening doors and stuff like that. And this is a new Maserati. <laughs> beautiful, uh, beautiful piece of art. And he's got this one here, and then he's got the auto, another auto art. Uh, this is wide body Aventador. It's got a. Uh, you can see it's got a spray bottle in there. This is a modified Liberty Walk. And then this is the uh, the Aventador I have been trying to get for the longest from him. Um, now that I'm working, I might I might uh, come back and uh, you know grab it. He's asking like 240 for this one. This one's 240 and this one's 240. But this one he got directly from Auto Art. This one he got from a uh, another collector. And he's you know. I tried to see if I can like, you know, put down like a down payment, but he wants to full like asking 240. So I can't blame him, man, because you know, time's winning right now. It's pretty rough. And then he's got some uh, some top speed C8s. Then he's got a Maestro 4 GT back there. Ooh, the MP Plymouth. Look at the details on that motor there. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty realistic. I like that. And then he's got another top speed, top speed uh, Toyota Supra. Um, two Acme's, uh, El Camino, and that uh, 69, 69 Camaro. That's that's beautiful. I really, I really like that. I really love the 69, the uh, 69 Camaro. Yeah, so the only Camaros I really like is like the, uh, the 98, uh, the 70s, 60s, uh, yeah, 70s, 60s, uh, the 2016 all the way up to now, and that's about it. But, yeah, the ones before that, I didn't really like them. Alright, and then, he's got like some American Muscle. He's got a Trans Am, more Camaros, a steam, couple Stingrays, another Colorless, uh, Chevelle, Chevelle, Shelby, 
the Chevy GT500, the 69 Chevy GT500, that's the OG. And then it's got some more like F1 and Indy car stuff. That Huracan uh, Trufeo is uh, that's beautiful. MC Buick, that's, that's gangster right there. Then he's got a Bentley. And yeah, you got it. I think that's another uh, another top speed there, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's top speed. And more F1, Techno. Uh, oh, he's got two of the same Mercedes, 200 each. And he's got the OG Indy cars, and he's got Audi. And he's got like some painting stuff over here, like uh, paint for paintbrush, spray paint. You know, he's got miniature, miniature cars, uh, all types of hobby stuff, hats, and model cars, as, as well as like uh, forklifts and stuff like that. Uh, if you like looking to like set your cars on a display. Yeah, you know, he's got Hot Wheels. And some other 164. Uh, 164 stuff, so. Yeah, whatever y'all into. He's got books, magazines. All types of stuff, so. Yeah, man, y'all y'all got it. And then, whenever he, uh... This is where he keeps the uh, the boxes and stuff like that when he needs to get the cars down. And here's some more 164 stuff. So, yeah, man, y'all got it. And I didn't tell you that he does also have uh, the new my my so did also just do the uh, new Diablo. Waiting to see Auto R do that. It's pretty nice, but I know it's not all that de detailed on the uh, inside just from looking at, at a far away. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Um, did all the vlogging, and uh, hopefully, I'll be looking to uh, do some vlogging with that GT350R. You know, sometime this uh, this week, probably tomorrow, or you know, who knows when, but it'll be very soon. You know, because I'm really, uh, you know, y'all know how much I like, uh, I love cars, and I, I you know, y'all remember I told y'all we're gonna have all type of content and stuff like that on the uh, on the channel. So in the meantime. So in the meantime, man, y'all just, uh, you know, y'all just hang tight, man. And, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta, we got some everything coming to the channel. You know, I love to, uh, I love to have a mixture of things, you know, on my channel. And see... The more the mixture, you know, the better the content. So, you know, people love to see a mixture of things compared to, you know, just one single thing. So, yeah, man. But, uh, oh, one more thing. So, I did go to Jimmy John's up there. And they did say, uh, hopefully, the, uh, when the manager should be giving me a call back. Like I said, we, we just going to stick with, you know, what we're working at right now because... It's what I need. It, it, it's something to get me back on my feet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to where I can afford to pay, uh, you know, pay my insurance to make sure it don't get cut off and everything like that. So, you know, once I pay them the $80, you know, this month, that's, that, that's due, then I'll be, you know, I'll be Gucci and everything like that. So, hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next car vlog. Hey, man, y'all be safe today on this Wednesday. Peace.